Right now, there are only between 120 and 230 panthers left in Florida, and they mostly live in and around the Big Cypress Preserve. And right now, there are two big oil and housing development projects asking for permits that could push Florida panthers over the edge into extinction. The Florida panther is an umbrella species, so when we protect it, we also protect other wildlife and ourselves. All of the wildlife in this video can be found in Big Cypress Preserve, and they are also protected when we protect panthers. When we allow the Florida panther to be threatened, they are threatened too, and so are we. Big Cypress has more than 100 endangered and threatened species of animals and plants, and it has plant species found nowhere else on Earth. It is the largest continuous land area habitat of wild Florida panthers. Big Cypress is located in southwest Florida and is part of the Everglades ecosystem. The wildlife in this country is a national treasure. We have to stop building new housing developments, highways, oil and gas drilling and mining projects in and around the Big Cypress Preserve. It's unacceptable for us to allow the Florida panther to become extinct in our lifetime. If you want to take action, phone numbers and email addresses are listed at the end of this video and on our Facebook page, Florida Panther and Wildlife. Factual sources for this film are also in both places. Florida panthers used to range all the way up into the Carolinas. Now they are walking a tightrope of survival and barely hanging on. The two projects being proposed are the Burnett Oil Project and the Eastern Collier Project. These two projects would make it extremely hard for panthers to survive. In the first project, the Burnett Oil Project would build two new oil wells inside Big Cypress, which would destroy panther and wildlife land inside the preserve. The Burnett Oil Project has already wiped out 112 miles of Big Cypress Preserve with 20-foot wide tire tracks that are two feet deep in places. This destruction was caused by 33 tons seismic sound testing machines searching for oil. They also bulldozed cypress trees, left ditches, and degraded the water. Now they want to build oil pads and drill for oil in two separate places and create access roads across 30 acres inside Big Cypress Preserve. Oil wells leak toxic chemicals into water, air, and soil. These toxic chemicals are unsafe for wildlife and people. Oil spills are common in the industry. There are already 40 oil wells underneath Big Cypress Preserve. Two are active. Half of the water that feeds the Everglades National Park comes through Big Cypress Preserve. Water from the Everglades flows into Florida Bay and into underground aquifers, where drinking water comes from. Drinking water and wildlife must not be contaminated by chemicals leaking from oil wells, oil drilling, oil flaring into the air, oil spills, mining, possible fracking, etc. The second project, the Eastern Collier Habitat Conservation Project, is not a conservation plan. Located right above Big Cypress and next to the Panther Refuge, there are 45,000 acres of land that's a mixture of natural, undeveloped land and pastures and fields of farm crops. Right now, this land is panther habitat. Panthers live, hunt, and travel through this land 
as part of the panther corridor. Male panthers need 200 to 250 square miles for their territory and females need at least 75 square miles. Panthers travel up and down the state through the Florida Wildlife Corridor and through agricultural fields and pastures. We know this because some panthers have been collared and are tracked by scientists. Like most big cats, panthers have to breed with a variety of panthers to vary their gene pool. This 45,000 acre area of natural and farmland is mostly owned by 12 big corporate agribusinesses who want to build housing subdivisions and towns there. And they want to have the right to drill for oil and do mining for limestone and sand there in the future. All of these activities, land development, drilling, and mining, would destroy the land. Destroy 45,000 acres of panther habitat that is also habitat for 18 more endangered species. And it would destroy key panther corridors and cut off panthers from access to the northern part of the state. These mostly agribusinesses call themselves the Eastern Collier Property Owners, or ECPO. This 45,000 acres is one of the most ecologically and biologically significant regions within the entire state of Florida, according to a detailed scientific report by Dr. Reed Noss of Conservation Science, Inc. from November 2018. He is an independent expert in conservation planning. In exchange for the right to develop this land and drill for oil and do mining on this 45,000 acres of panther habitat, these 12 agribusiness corporations are saying that they would protect 100,000 acres of other land that they own, but that 100,000 acres of land is already protected by state and city regulations. So in reality, they are only offering about 15,000 acres. And they still want to reserve the right to drill for oil and do mining on all of it. So it's very misleading that it's called the Eastern Collier Habitat Conservation Plan because in reality, it would destroy 45,000 acres of panther habitat that is right above Big Cypress Preserve and next to the Panther Refuge. They want to build a town of housing subdivisions and drill for oil and do mining there in the future. That's not a habitat conservation plan. That is a habitat destruction plan. And they are offering to protect 100,000 acres of their other land that doesn't even need protection because it is already protected by state and city regulations. That's not a conservation proposal. That sounds like a scam. That's not a compromise that looks like a trick. The Eastern Collier plan to destroy panther habitat and build subdivisions would also mean a lot more panthers killed by cars because of all the new roads and highways the new housing subdivisions would require. Building a town right above Big Cypress and next to the panther refuge would cut off wildlife corridors and make it hard for panthers to roam up and down the state. It's a really bad idea. Ultimately, it would probably result in the extinction of Florida panthers. Building a town there would also likely result in more permit requests to build more new towns and development. The population of black bears in Florida has decreased from 4,000 to an estimated 3,000. Many live in and around Big Cypress and they also need land to roam. Contamination of water by oil, mining, and pesticides is a huge concern raised by the Burnett Oil and the Eastern Collier proposals. The Seminole Tribe Imokali Indian Reservation is located right in the center of the critical 45,000 acres and would be affected by these changes. 
The legal rights of the Native American Miccosukee Nation would be violated by the Eastern Collier Housing Development Plan under federal law. The Miccosukee Tribe's 2019 letter to the Florida Wildlife Service opposed the Eastern Collier Project and stated that the panther and other wildlife would lose habitat. The Miccosukee Nation has stated that the EPA did not hold the requirement government-to-government -government consultations with their nation. The Miccosukee Tribe is concerned that the Eastern Collier Development Plan could potentially destroy their way of life and cause them to lose culturally important sites. This is another huge problem with the Eastern Collier proposal. If we care about the injustices that have happened to Native Americans in past U.S. history, we need to care about what is happening to them now. Threats to their land, threats to their governmental rights, threats to their culture, threats to their way of life. We need to express our support for them and stand up and share our concern for their rights. A new species of whale was also just found in the Everglades National Park. We must protect these areas for ourselves, our wildlife, and our future generations. There's more at stake than even just the critical Florida panther. Please call or email these decision makers and let them know you oppose all permits for the Burnett Oil and the Eastern Collier projects. Please tell them that you support a freeze on all permits and all development in and around the Big Cypress Preserve. Please tell them to reject the Burnett Oil Project and the Eastern Collier Habitat Conservation Plan that is actually about habitat destruction. Please call Big Cypress Preserve Superintendent Tom Forsyth at 239-695-2000, the Florida Department of Environmental Protection at 850-245-2118, the Florida Wildlife Service State Supervisor Larry Williams at 772-469-4251, the National Park Service Region 2 Director Stan Austin in Atlanta at 404-507-5600, Governor DeSantis at 850-717-9337. For more information, please email the nonprofit National Parks Conservation Association, NPCA, which is working to save the Florida panther, at mabdu at npca.org. The Southwest Conservancy is also working to protect the Florida panther. For more information, contact them at www.conservancy.org. There are more email addresses, information, links to organizations, and videos on Facebook at Florida Panther and Wildlife. To express support for the Miccosukee Nation's tribal rights under federal law, please email hopel at miccosukeetribe.com. Here's a list of the U.S. Florida Wildlife Service levels of extinction designations. Factual information for this film came from some of the following sources listed here. They are also on our Facebook page. Many thanks to The Intercept, The Apopka Voice, The Miami Herald, The Southeast Conservancy, The National Parks Conservation Association, and The National Resources Defense Council for their news coverage of the Florida Panther. This is an independent film created by Dr. Susan Purrs, EarthFamily.tv, that's me. Nature photography and videos by Dr. Susan Purrs, except for photos with other credits. Research writing, narration, editing, audio, and funding by Susan Purrs. More videos are on YouTube at Dr. Susan Purrs. Thank you for watching.